Hey friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. And I brought something with me today, but I want to ask this question. What do we buy to eat but never eat? Think about it. Something we buy to eat, but we never eat it. Can you guess? A plate. Yes, we buy plates to eat with, but we never eat our plate. Uh, <laughs> that would give a new meaning to clean up your plate, wouldn't it? But I brought a plate today to remind us of something from the Bible. In Genesis chapter 2 and 3, we have the story of Adam and Eve. God made them, and God placed them in the garden. They were very happy because they had everything they could ever need or want. God provided greatly for them. But God told them, "Do not. you can eat anything here. Have anything you want to eat, except you cannot eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And sometimes we think of Adam and Eve eating an apple. We don't know what kind of fruit it was. I wasn't there to tell you. But as they were in the garden one day, someone evil, Satan, came to Eve. And she, he began to talk to Eve and tell her, well, why don't you go ahead and eat some of that? I mean, God said you can't, but maybe you misunderstood what he was saying. And she said, well, that's what he said, that we're not to eat of that. And lo and behold, as she continued her conversation with Satan, who came as a serpent or a snake, which ugh, Pastor Kevin does not like snakes at all. But that evil one, he came and he tempted her. And what did she do? She ate from that fruit that she was told not to eat from. But not only did she eat from that fruit, her husband, uh, Adam, Adam took some of the fruit and he too ate from it, just as God told them not to do. Well, it was right after that, they realized we don't have any clothes on. So after Satan, the snake tempted them, God came along and exposed them and showed them their sins. Do you think they were happy anymore? No, they were very, very sad. Sin entered the earth. Sin is anything that we say or do or think that goes against God's word and what God has told us to do by what the Bible says. And the way to know what is right and wrong is to read what the Bible tells us and do what the Bible tells us to do. The Bible tells us not to lie. The Bible tells us to love one another. But the greatest thing that I think the Bible has ever told me was this verse that is found in John chapter 3, verse 16. It says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Boys and girls, if we will ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, and we'll ask Jesus to come and live in our life, we can have a life that is forgiven. And sin doesn't have to live in our life, but we can have Jesus living in us. And we can bring him glory, honor, and praise when we do what he says to do in his word, the Bible. How do I know that? Because the Bible tells me so. Thank you, friends, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.